Bro, you know you're supposed to be texting at school. It's against the rules, man. Right. I'm just saying you can't learn if you're always on your phone. But I think we should report this to the principal, bro. I'm not going out here. I used my phone to get out of bed this morning. The weather app said that I needed to bundle up today. I had to record my teacher's directions. Okay, so and my built-in calculator saved me a bad grade. With all the benefits, we still fight a strict phone policy. I don't take phones up as much as I should. We all know the second our teacher sees it is the same second our beloved phone is shipped to the principal's office. I'm 18. Can't take my phone. I pay my own phone bill. My granny don't even take my phone. Grat. Nobody takes my phone. No matter what personal issues at home, it's their property for their chosen amount of time. Else, lamb run. It's an absolute distraction when you're trying to teach and instead of listening on Facebook or texting to friends, it's to help students because if you're distracted, you're not learning. They shouldn't care, like it should be up to us if we want to fail or not, so them taking away to make us learn isn't really doing anything. They do have a point that some people get distracted easy by the handheld device. Here, Laquan Johnson is busy texting in front of our progression board. His name has no check mark. It has been said that cell phones help many people survive in the massacre at Virginia Tech. With a rise in school shootings in our country, Phones can be lifesavers. They say that school is supposed to prepare us for the outside world. Don't they know our iPhone will always be there to assist us, to steer us in the right direction? I'm Aaron Leach reporting.